An extract from chapter 2 of the Citadel, The Dying Sons. It wasn't perceptible at first, just an unspoken feeling. There was a slight sense of unease between people, as if sensing a coming storm. We all came to feel, one after another, that something was amiss, something was not right. It wasn't so much the fear of change, despite the monotony of our world, life under a shadow, we also knew that unavoidable change could come upon us almost any time. Yet it wasn't that, it was an uncertain sense of imminent sadness. Like the slow arrival of an unwanted conclusion. It made many of us in city nervous, more nervous than usual. Then the shivering began. And despite the great heat we still gained from living in the shadows of the citadel, a few of us began to shiver. It was the first palpable sign of change. The older people noticed it first, perhaps because of their long years of being acclimatized to city life, they would be first to feel the pangs of difference. In the beginning they did not speak of this, yet they exchanged glances between themselves as if trying to share the silent pains of a secret conspiracy. Some of the parents spotted this growing web of silent glances between the elders. They too did not speak of this. Perhaps it was a form of taboo, or a way to protect us children. In this way, city life began to shift subtly from the inside out. It was like an internal mutation. City life, our lives, was being reprogrammed from within by some unknown force. We all began to change. It was inevitable. Our moods became more somber. There were less moments where happiness could seep in. Days became an escape into work, as if to avoid conversation, to avoid the subject. People retreated into even more mundane distractions. The parents, those who were the true workforce of city life, spearheaded this silent takeover of our lives. Still, nothing was spoken about this to the children. Yet we both sensed and saw this change. Soon a conversation did arise amongst the people of city. It was about the changing colour. The shadow of the citadel had grown less dense. The elders were sure of this. At first people were dubious. They had never heard of such a thing before. It could never happen, they said. The shadows of the citadel are as consistent as the two suns which rise and sink each day. Then the truth dawned on people with an incredible dread. The unthinkable had begun its inevitable process. The two sons were dying. Only now, after many unknown passing of sun cycles, were the effects palpable upon the people of city. The shadows had protected all inhabitants from the unrelenting heat of the two suns for so long. If the suns continued to wane, as was the undeniable case, then the shadows would cease to be as strong, and they would turn from being indispensable shelter to a cloak of coldness. With the suns dying, we would need their direct heat more and more. People would be forced to move out of the shadows. Yet for how long? For how many more solar revolutions would the heat sustain the people of city? And the citadel? 
what would happen to the citadel.